મારું નામ સંજય શાહ છે અને હું આ ક્લિફ્ટન મંદિરમાં અમે લોકો એવરી ઇયર આ વોકાથોન કરતા હોઈએ છે આ મારો ફોર્ટીન્થમો વોકાથોન છે એવરી ઇયર લગભગ સાડા ત્રણસોથી ચારસો વોકર્સ વોક કરતા હોય છે અને આજે પણ આપ જોઈ શકો છો પાછળ ઘણા લોકો વોક માટે તૈયાર જ છે આજે ઇન્ડિયા પાકિસ્તાનને મેચ હોવા છતાં પણ બધા એકદમ ઉત્સાહભર આવી અને અહીંયા બધા વોક કરવા માટે રેડી જ છીએ અને અમે આ જે વોકાથોન કરીએ છીએ એ વોકાથોનના જે જે પૈસા અમે જે કલેક્ટ કરીએ છીએ એ એમાંથી ઓલમોસ્ટ ઘણા બધા પૈસા અમે લોકો નેચરલ કન્ઝર્વેટિવમાં આપતા હોઈએ છીએ અત્યાર સુધી મોર દેન હંડ્રેડ થાઉઝન્ડ જે ટ્રીસ છે એ અમે રોપ્યા છે અને બાકીના જે પૈસા છે એમાંથી એ ક્લિફ્ટન જે બોયઝ એન્ડ ગર્લ્સ છે કે જેના પુઅર ક્વિક કિડ્સ હોય એ લોકોને આપણે સ્પોન્સરશીપ કરી એ લોકો આગળ ભણે એ લોકો આગળ વધે એના માટે આપતા હોય છે તો અમે આ ક્લિફ્ટન મંદિરના આવી રીતે વોકાથોન કરીએ છીએ એવરી ઇયર અને આ જે વન ઓફ ધ ડે છે અને ભગવાનની દયાથી અત્યારનું વાતાવરણ બહુ બહુ સરસ છે જય સ્વામિનારાયણ મારું નામ રમેશ પટેલ છે હું દર વર્ષે વોકાથોનમાં પાર્ટિસિપેટ કરું છું રિયલી દેટ ઇઝ લોડ ઓફ પીપલ કમિંગ એવરી ઇયર વી હેવ અબાઉટ ફોર હંડ્રેડ ફાઈવ હંડ્રેડ પીપલ કમિંગ એવરી ઇયર એન્ડ આઈ ઓલવેઝ લાઈક ટુ કમ ટુ ધીસ ઇવન્ટ બિકોઝ ઇઝ અ વેરી ગુડ ફોર ધ કમ્યુનિટી ઇઝ લુક્સ ગુડ વેરી ગુડ ઓન અવર ટેમ્પલ એન્ડ જય સ્વામિનારાયણ આઈ એમ ભરત રાના આઈ લિવ ઇન ક્લિફ્ટન આઈ ઇન વોર વિથ બી એ પી એસ ટેમ્પલ ફ્રોમ લાસ્ટ ફોર્ટીન એટીન ઇયર્સ Clifton Temple has been involved with uh, uh, various of our charities. They do uh, health camp, they do blood drawn, they do walk-a-ton. And besides that, they all involved with uh, charities all over. If there is a disaster, BAPS will be the first one to step in. They, they uh, distribute uh, uh, f- foods for the homeless people. I mean... BAPS is not just a temple it's not just a, a one uh, association it's a charity a provide to the large various uh, 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 on a large scale of humanity BAPS Clifton it's been uh, established from last i think about 18 to 20 years and i've been involved with it and i know that they are very dedicated to the uh, charities and uh, i wish everybody please come forward to support bps and uh, you know their charities they are your goal to go to the to the uh, right place thank you and uh, jai swaminarayan to everyone hello yeah. jai swaminarayan uh, maru naam kirti sah che ane aaj uh, je program che walkathon no ek clifton swaminarayan babs uh, temple mai thai rayo che ane aa chilla 14 varsh thi aa program thai che અને જે અમે આ સ્પોન્સરશીપ આપીએ છીએ એ અત્યારે નેચર કન્ઝર્વેટિવમાં જાય છે અને બીજા ક્લિફ્ટન બોયઝ એન્ડ ગર્લ્સ ક્લબમાં જાય છે અને આ ખૂબ જ એક સારી ચેરિટીનો પ્રોગ્રામ છે અને છેલ્લા ચૌદ વર્ષથી ચાલે છે અને અમે દ છેલ્લા ચૌદ વર્ષથી આવી રીતે પાર્ટિસિપેટ થઈએ છે અને બધા લોકો ખૂબ ઉત્સાહથી આ વોકેથોનમાં ભાગ લે છે અને આનો મોટિવ ખૂબ જ સરસ છે જય સ્વામિનારાયણ Uh, so I'm Bruce James. I'm one of the freeholders in Passaic County and this is the 15th year that Baps 14th year that Baps has been doing this and I try to come every year. Um your community is probably the most active community we have uh and out front uh to do things for people that really need help in Clifton and all over the world really. So the the uh walkathon today is benefiting which charity? Is usually it's like a nature conservative the lot of money goes to conservation we we did more than 100000 of trees you know and also the some of the money it goes to the clifton boys and girls they don't have more money and they needs uh, uh, for the tuitions fees and everything like that so they they're connecting to the uh, community in clifton particularly uh and baps has been here now the the temple has been up for how long Eight, uh, 19 years now 19 years and uh, by the way i've been to robinsville that is absolutely astounding i want one here like that yeah, yeah, <laughs> but anyway so i'm here because to support what what this uh baps uh temple does and what the nonprofit does is make sure they did a blood drive what other kinds of things have you done healthcare. the health fair so it really has saved lives and helped people all over the city and uh so we're here because they give so much this is just a way of giving back 
this much for somebody who gives more than I can indicate. So I thank you for, for doing this every year. Thank you. And, and uh, I, I just think that you have the greatest community and we're just so happy and, and blessed to have you here. We're all blessed to have you here. We really are. Good morning. Uh, Bob Foster with the Boys and Girls Club of Clifton, one of the local charities here for Bob's Charity Walk. Uh, they've been doing this for three or four years now as we're as their uh, charity and we're very appreciative of them thinking of the local community and the local charity. Uh, we are a local youth serving organization, after school, summer camp, serving about 5,000 youth every year. Um, and again, we just love the opportunity to come out here and support the walk and support the causes that Bath Charity does. And we thank them again for picking us as their charity of choice here in the Clifton community. Hi, good morning. I'm Passaic County Sheriff Richard Burdnick. It's an honor and a privilege to be here on this great day for the BAPS Charities Walk. Uh, I want to thank them, each and every one of them personally, again, for the hard work and dedication that they do not only for this event, but each and every day. And again, for a great cause, in the, uh, Nature Conservatory and the Boys and Girls Club. Thank you all. There's still time. Come out and join us. Good morning. My name is Lauren Murphy. I'm a councilwoman in the city of Clifton. And I've been participating in the BAPS Walkathon for the last eight or nine years. I can't remember which. Um, it's a wonderful organization, and they give the uh, money that's donated to different charities. And this year, they're giving it to yes, <laughs> the Nature Conservancy, Plant a Billion Trees, and the Boys and Girls Club of Clifton, which of course is very near and dear to my heart. So I just want you to know I'm very proud to be part of this and thank you for including me every year. Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the 14th annual Clifton BAPS Charities Walkathon Walk Green 2019 benefiting the Nature Conservancy's Plant a Billion Trees and the Boys and Girls Club of Clifton. My name is Radha Patel, BAPS Charities Outreach Volunteer for Clifton. It is an extraordinary time for all of us here in Clifton. Money Magazine rated Clifton as one of the top 100 best places to live in America, a thriving community in New Jersey, and BAPS is very proud to be in Clifton. It is indeed heartening to see so many of you, from families to friends to invited guests, waking up early on a Sunday morning on Father's Day in order to lend your support to this very worthy cause. BAPS Charities harnesses the efforts and collective spirit of volunteers around the world to serve individuals, families, and communities. BAPS Charities focuses its activities in five major areas, community, education, health and wellness, humanitarian, and environment. Throughout the year, BAPS Charities hosts health fairs, Children's Health and Safety Day, blood drives, bone marrow drives, and so much more. BAPS Charity sincerely serves the community by improving the quality of life of individuals and families. During the last four years, BAPS Charities will have helped plant over 300,000 trees in support of the Nature Conservancy's efforts to plant 1 billion trees by 2025. In 2018, in 2018, various BAPS charity walkathons took place in 76 cities with over 23,000 walkers all across North America, in which the Nature Conservancy accepted a contribution of $166,000 from BAPS charities in Chino Hills, California. Aaron Daly, was, who is here today, was also in attendance for this monumental occasion. Nationally, our past beneficiaries included the American Diabetes Association, the American Cancer Society, local hospitals, law enforcement agencies, and others. I'm delighted to inform you that this year more than 76 cities are holding Walk Green 2019 and over 26,000 walkers are joining the efforts. With the help of our sponsors and all of you, participants of all ages join hands and raise funds for hundreds of humanitarian activities and local charities or organizations. This year's Walkathon, Walk Green 2019, benefits the Nature Conservancy's Plant a Billion Trees in an effort to restore and replant over 1.6 million acres of natural space. Infestations of disease and invasive pests are killing tens of thousands of acres of trees nationally. Without these forests, 50% of the nation's water supply will go unfiltered. 
iconic and important plant and animal species will lose their home and more than $14.5 billion generated on Forest Service lands, money that goes back to our local communities will be lost. Once again, we are also honored to support the Boys and Girls Club of Clifton as our local beneficiary. The Boys and Girls Club of Clifton is dedicated to providing programs and services in a safe, supervised area to inspire and enable all young people, especially underprivileged students, to realize their potential as caring, productive, and responsible citizens. Building on skills and knowledge learned in the classroom, the club offers programs that assist members in becoming proficient in basic educational disciplines, set goals, explore careers, prepare for employment, and use technology to achieve success in their careers. The Boys and Girls Club of Clifton offers scholarships to young, underprivileged students who can't afford higher education. It now gives me great pleasure to welcome invited guests to this year's walkathon. U.S. Congressman Bill Pascrell, representing the 9th District of New Jersey, May <laughs> Mayor of Clifton, James Anzaldi, <laughs> Aaron Daly, Donor Relations Manager at the Nature Conservancy, <laughs> Bob Foster, Executive Director, and John DeGraff, Director of Resource Development at the Boys and Girls Club of Clifton, Councilwoman Lauren Murphy, Passaic County Freeholder Bruce James, Mr. George Silva, Community Liaison for New Jersey Assemblyman Tom Giblin, Bharat Rana, Candidate for New Jersey State Assembly, and Passaic County Sheriff Richard Birdnick. Now I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our invited guests and request Honorable Congressman Bill Pascrell, who is here today despite having a leg injury, to briefly address the participants of our walkathon. First things first, happy Father's Day. <laughs> our sheriff, our freeholders, Lauren, our council persons here every year, and the mayor of our great city, Clifton. Jim Anzaldi. Let's give Jim another round of applause. I was talking to Aaron before about the consequences of the work that you do because no one quite understands that we have an environmental nightmare facing us that threatens clean water, drinking water, clean air. This is not good. This is not good at all. In fact, all the trees that you are planting is going to protect the water supply. It'll filter that water supply. Of course, if you don't understand anything about the environment, you're bound to ignore it. We have people in Washington that ignore these things. You are not ignoring it. In fact, you're having a greater effect on the environment and those people who are trying to stop you. You are being heard. Thank you for what you do. God bless you. I'm proud to be here every year with our public officials to say thank you to you and keep, it, keep up the great job. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. I now request Mayor of Clifton, Honorable James Anzaldi, to briefly address the participants of our walkathon. Good morning, everyone. Happy Father's Day. Today's a beautiful day. You know, when you look at the weather yesterday, the weatherman, like always, was wrong. So we have a beautiful day for you to walk. Um, you all know that the um, wonderful relationship that I've had all these 20-some years now with BAPS um, has been something that has been a treasure to my life. And uh, I have been here for the 14 walks, uh, raising money for such good causes. Uh, Today's walk um, deals with planting of trees, a billion trees. You know Clifton, New Jersey is Tree City, USA, so we believe in that very much. And of course, my favorite charity, the Boys and Girls Club of Clifton that takes care of so many of our kids. So I thank you all for coming out and walking. Uh, it's a great day to do that through our streets. And um, I thank you for your wonderful, wonderful fundraising for such good causes. God bless you and God bless America. Thank you, Mayor Anzaldi. 
It also gives me great pleasure to welcome Ms. Erin Daly, Donor Relations Manager for our national beneficiary, the Nature Conservancy New Jersey Chapter. I request Ms. Daly to briefly address the participants of our walkathon. Good morning. It's wonderful to be here today and to see all of you, and happy Father's Day. Thank you so much to BAPS Charities, to all of you here, and to the 23,000 walkers across the country who are raising money to help us plant a billion trees. With BAPS Charities support, which and this is the fourth year, uh, you'll be helping us plant more than 360,000 trees across this country over th these four years. We are so grateful. Planting trees is so important. They filter our air, our water, and it involves a lot more than just putting a seed in the ground. There's, oh, sorry, thank you. Oh, oh okay. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Okay, um, so it's more than just a seed. Um, there's there's st preparation, stewardship, prescribed burning, hydrology, and, and keeping these trees alive. It's not just planting them, but we, we care for them over time to make sure that they filter the air and the water as we need them to do. Your support is making all this possible, and we're so grateful, and I'm so glad to be here with you today. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Daly. It gives me great pleasure to welcome Mr. Bob Foster, Executive Director of the Boys and Girls Club of Clifton. I request Mr. Foster to briefly address participants of our walkathon. Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. To our distinguished <laughs> officials over here, I thank you for coming out on this Sunday morning. I thank you all. You know, as I look out and I see all the young people in the front here, what a great sight for me. As a director of the Boys and Girls Club, that's what our future is right there. You know, and as your slogan is, United Walk and Grow, ours is great future start here. What a symmetry, right? So I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank the Bass community for singling out the Boys and Girls Club as your charity, your local charity. And as our third year of being here, again, we thank you so much for supporting our summer campers and all that we do year round. So enjoy your, let's keep the rain up there and keep the sun out and have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Foster. It gives me great pleasure to welcome uh, Passaic County Sheriff Richard Burtnick. I request him to briefly address participants of our walkathon. Good morning, everyone. I'll be brief. Uh, I just want to say again to each and every uh, one of the fathers here, Happy Father's Day to all our elected officials, Congressman, Mayor, Councilwoman Murphy. Thank you again for being here, showing your support for the community. Uh, I could not be uh, more honored to be here, again, seeing the children here, seeing uh, all my brothers and sisters here, participating in a great cause, no doubt, uh, two great causes, the Boys and Girls Club and, of course, nature. I mean, just envision looking around here if there were no trees, how barren and how, uh, how bare it would be. So I thank you for the great cause, Mukesh, the committee, everyone. Thank you for doing it. Uh, as we walk, again, I just want to stress safety, please, to each and every one of you. Just make sure you're aware of your surroundings. Of course, we don't want anyone uh, to get hurt. Thank you, and have a blessed day. Thank you, Sheriff Birdnick. I now request Radhika Patel, Clifton BAPS Charities Walkathon team member, to address the participants of our walkathon. Thank you, Congressman Chris Grill, for coming out with an injured leg. Marin Zaldi, Aaron Daly, Bob Foster, Jose County... Passaic County Sheriff Richard Birdnick and the Clifton Police Department. At the launch earlier this year, we set a new challenge to get hundreds of people to participate in this year's walkathon. Your response to our your response to our challenge has been overwhelming. So it gives me great pleasure this morning to announce that many of you did your part for Walk Green 2019 in one way or another. We all thank you for and other well wishers for heeding the call to give in their own little ways. I will now request Hardik David, Hardik David, the walkathon lead for 2019, to give the vote of thanks and instru further instructions for the walk. All right. So I've been known to make jokes, and uh, sometimes it's appreciated and maybe not appreciated. But all the young gentlemen I see here, it really brings inspiration to my eyes what they stand for and how they support us, have supported us throughout these years. 
and it's amazing. So one more time, a round of applause for our distinguished invited guests. Now, I was here early in the morning and my sweet daughter, Asta over there, told me uh, Happy Father's Day and it kind of made me reflect on the fact that we're all here today, the older generation, the younger generation, the young, young generation, but we know that at the end of the day, we serve Mother Earth and we serve the generations before us. And that's why the blending between our two beneficiaries is so vital to what we do as BAPS Charities. The Nature Conservancy, amazing efforts that they've been making and uh, we've been part of that and we're part of it. As well as the Boys and Girls Club of Clifton, which we are so grateful for supporting over these past few years. So thanks once again to these two. And again, uh, thank you to the Sheriff's Office for supporting the cause and helping uh, keep us safe throughout the walk. Yeah. 